Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome to week three of intercultural communication. We will be starting in seven minutes. Can you guys hear me clearly for those who are online? If you can, please type yes in the chat box. Hi to Amanda, Amisha, Su Chin, uh, Chu Fan. Hi, Cindy, Xiang Yi, Misha. Hi, Tim. Hi, Miss. Hi. Hi, Terrence. Hi, Vanya. Hi, Ting Ting. Hi, Yi Tong. Hi, Yuan Ziying. Hi to. Uh, Celine, hi to Zinning, hi to Yi Heng, and hi to Yuan, Vanessa, Clara, Terence. Hi, hi, everybody. Hoping that you guys are good. We are going to start in six minutes. And the slides is up. Uh, the slides are up on times already. Hoping that uh, you guys had a time to take a look on that. Uh, for those who are online right now, um, we uh, for the tutorial marks for last week's session, I'm going to give it tomorrow for tutorial group one and for tutorial group two, uh, I'm going to give it on Thursday. So at the end of the class, just, um, you know, just stay back and I'll just drop your marks in, in the chat box uh, of how you're doing and things like that. Okay, so before we start, any questions in regards to the uh, self-cultural report? Are you guys doing that? You know, um, I don't know. Are you guys doing that really, really soon? Are you guys working on it? Please start working if you haven't done that. Okay, so please, please, please. Uh, what more? Uh, for next week, and hopefully for those who opt for face-to-face communicate, uh, face-to-face classes, uh, we're gonna be back on campus for tutorial session next week. So for tutorial group one, I'm gonna see from ten to twelve on Wednesday. For tutorial group two, ten a.m. to twelve p.m. on Thursday. But in case you can't, you you offer online, don't worry. Uh, the session is going to be live stream anyway, just that the difference is uh, I'll be on campus, you know, to see all of you. Any questions? Any questions before we start? Any questions? Oh, is next Wednesday? Is this? Is it this Wednesday? Oh my God! Okay, 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 okay. For a uh, final piece, uh, uh, I have yet to. Uh, the problem is, uh, I'm getting the confirmation list from uh, from the faculty office, but I haven't yet that. So I just want to make sure that everybody is in the correct tutorial group. But uh, just to let you guys know, by by tonight, I'll I'll just create a Google sheet as soon as possible, and we'll we'll sort that out. Okay. So sorry for that. I've been waiting from from last week. Thank you for reminding me, Z. Okay, uh, is it next Wednesday a public holiday? Next Wednesday is next Wednesday a public holiday? I gotta check that. Okay, I gotta check that and I'll let you guys know as well on that. So, uh, what more, what more? Um, so, tonight I'll make sure the Google Sheet is up already on times. Maybe, maybe after class I'll create that. And then you guys help me to just, um, you know, 
uh, for your respective tutorial group, I'll create one Google Sheet for tutorial group one, one Google Sheet for tutorial group two. Then uh, I'll try to list down uh, everybody's name for tutorial group one and tutorial group two. And another column for, uh, you know, if you have groups already, uh, just list out and, and cross your names, you know, in, in the next box. And I'll give the instructions later in the Google Sheet, okay? Okay, hi, Mercy. Hi, Mercy. Uh, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, Mercy, for your attendance, uh, there's a problem with my times as well, but uh, I, I take note that you have come for every classes since week one, so don't worry about it, okay? Yeah, next Wednesday is a public holiday. Well, next Wednesday is a public holiday. Yeah, next Wednesday is Malaysia Day. Oh my God, I forgot. Yeah, oh my God, people. Happy Advanced Malaysia Day. Um, then, yeah, then we have, then it's a holiday. So, uh, but I'll still give work for you to do. Just not, just don't miss it. Don't miss, you know, the work for week four, okay? For tutorial group one. One, one more minute before we start. Okay, everybody ready? How many of us uh, are already online? 60, 60 of us are online. Welcome, welcome to week three of uh, intercultural communication. Welcome, welcome everybody. Shout out to Musharraf, Adam, Adinda, uh, Aina. For the question, do we use the third person point of view or just use I? For Vanya, uh, you can use, uh, preferably to use third point of view when you write your report, but in case you want to include your opinion and you think it's not suitable to, uh, in, to write it in a third point of view, then you can use I, okay? Uh, hi, Akari. Hi to Alexa. Shout out to Amanda, Amisha, Amira, Anani, Aisha, Batu, uh, Belen, Belen, Brenda, Salee, EJ, Christy, Chufan, Iman, Ivan, Jordan. Hi, hi Jane. Hi, Layla, Wengyi. Xiang Yi, Li Sin, Maria, Melanie, Kiyu, Ryan, Sabrina, Zuje, Wang, Jingwen, Yao Chi, and Ziyu. Hi, 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 everybody. Okay, what is your question just now? Okay, Chufan noted. Uh, so for the video, we use uh, the third person point of view. For the video, you use first point of view. Okay, Vanya? Is that, is that clear? Hello, Sarah. Hello, Stephanie. Hoping that you guys are great and well. Okay, so for week two, uh, week three, sorry, for week three, we still go online for tutorial session. Uh, welcome, welcome to week three of intercultural communication. So for those who opt for face-to-face -face, uh, uh, classes, we are going to we are going to do that uh, on on uh, next week. But for tutorial group one, uh, next Wednesday is a public holiday where it's a it's it's Malaysia Day celebration. Uh, so for tutorial group one, uh, I will post the 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 explanation of um, tutorial and what you have to do in times uh, as a recording because it's a public holiday we can't do classes then so I will meet up with um, 
with with a uh, tutorial group two on Thursday. Uh, on Thursday, okay. So uh, let me start that. I make sure I, I want to meet everybody. You know, who up for face to face. Um, you know, at, at, at the same week. So in case next week it's not doable because there's a public holiday, I'll let you guys know as soon as possible that we'll meet the week after. So it will be easier for me that I meet everybody uh, on the same week. Uh, so, uh, so that the tutorials won't be different from tutorial group one and tutorial group two. So for, for when we meet, uh, for face-to-face -face, uh, tutorial sessions for those who opt for face-to-face uh, -face classes. Uh, we will have a discussion and things like that. You'll present something for those who are online where you live stream, uh, you know, uh, uh, to my classes. You know, you will also join on the in the discussion as well. Okay, so uh, hi, Sarathak. Okay, any questions in regards to lecture week two? Uh, and tutorial week two. Any questions, people? Before we begin, any questions in regards to the self cultural report? Any questions in regards to that? If you, hi, Shireen. Welcome, welcome, Shireen. Welcome, welcome. This is your first class. For those who just joined into cultural communication, welcome, welcome. I'm Hannes. Uh, you can call me, some call me Mr. Hannes, but some call me uh, Hannes, some call me Dr. Hannes, some call me Miss. But I'm married already, so I'll be your guide for intercultural communication. Is there any, uh, any minimum or maximum reference we have to cite for self-cultural report? No, you don't have to cite anything. Okay, Zing. any questions? Any questions for uh, week two or tutorial or week um, two lecture? No problem, Zing. All good. Okay, for those who just joined, uh, I have a number of people who just joined the class. So welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, Intercultural Communication. It is a pleasure uh, having you uh, around for this semester. Hoping that we will see each other very, very soon. Uh, you know, soon, you know, I don't know when is that, but for those who opt to face a uh, face to face, you're going to see me soon enough. But in case you're online and from your home country, that's fine as well because you can see me live through Zoom. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, and, and I hope you can catch up with the uh, previous recording from week one to week two everything is on time so just click the url and you can watch it on your own time so for those who have missed tutorial for those who just joined uh intercultural communication uh and and miss uh the work for week two make sure that um that that you just email me by end of week by friday 5 30 p.m uh on your work okay uh, Emily, hi Emily, uh, you are not on the list. Can you chat with the faculty? Which group are you in? What, what, what day is your, your schedule, your tutorial? Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Then I can tell you which group that you are in. Emily, Thursday or Wednesday? Okay, we have 99 of us. Uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, then you are in tutorial group one. Okay, so uh, your tutorial session would be tomorrow from 10 to 12 with me. Okay? Okay. All okay. right. Cool. Okay, with that, there's 100 of us, 99 of us online. Hi, hi, everybody. Let's start with our lecture for today. Let me share my screen with you. No problem, Emily share. Can you guys see my screen? Where's the chat box? Can you guys see my screen? Oh my god. Yes, hello, hello. Okay, everybody can see my screen. Okay, give me a second. 
I'm going to minimize the chat box. I'm going to minimize my video as well. Okay. Uh, at any time you have questions, okay? Just unmute your mic and stop me at any time, okay? That you feel uh, the, the explanation is such a, you know, it's a total confusion for you or you want me to explain again or you have any, any other questions, you just stop me at any time, okay? So in case, uh, in case there's a question uh, in the chat box, uh, I need your help uh, to unmute your mic and uh, tell me that there is a question, okay? Because I'm, I'm, I'm closing my, my, my chat box because to, to do the lecture. Okay, with that, we are at my PowerPoint slides for week three of interculture communication. And for this week, we are indulging in the topic of culture and communication one. Okay, so when we talk about, um, before we uh, go, go, go about uh, what is culture, when we talk about communication itself, in every, every industry, right? What is this? Give me a second. Let me, oh, uh, yo. Very annoying. My Facebook. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So coming, coming, coming back to uh, just now, when we talk about communication, right? Uh, it comes in, in all contexts because if you work in a business industry or you work in education or even health or even, you know, um, anything, you are bound to meet people. And with people, you have to communicate. You have to say something to another person. Might it be you working with your colleague or you are doing an assignment, you know, you have to talk to each other. So that's what communication is. Okay, so you have to convey, uh, communication is to convey a, me a message from a sender, yeah, from a sender to a receiver. And with that, the receiver uh, of the message will send feedback to the sender in hopes, you know, uh, you know telling the sender that uh, does he or she understand the message or not, okay? So that is what communication is. And on an everyday basis, we communicate with each other. Okay, and with that, uh, let's, let's talk about culture and communication. So what is culture? So culture is a learned pattern of behaviors and attitudes shared by a group of people. Culture can have in so many contexts, it doesn't have to be, you know, in a racial context per se. Okay, so for example, Chinese, Chinese, Malay, Malay, Indian, Indian, uh, and then we have someone, we have uh, only people from, you know, Mexican people, uh, the whites, no. Okay, it comes in various different contexts. For example, it's a gender culture. So for example, if you can look at my slides right here, the first example is men and women do not see the world the same way. Okay, so for the first one, can you imagine? It's, it's such a different culture where men and women see the most different, different uh, you know, see the same, same you know, the, a particular issue in two different ways. So for example, right, uh, if you ask a woman, how is her day, right? Uh, the woman, a woman or a girl, uh, will go on and on for from just a question, how are you today? Or how are you? Oh, you know what happened to me today? You know, and the traffic light went red and, 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 and the car crossing by and then there's a grab driver just, you know, just, just you know, he, he hits the red light, just, you know, stand the food and things like that. You know, so women have so many things to talk about. They like to share my desk. You know, compared to men, men are very, very straightforward, majority of them, you know. So when you say, um, how are you, to, 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 to a guy, they say, okay, I'm okay. So, you know, that is the difference between men and women. Do you guys agree with me on that? You guys agree with me on that notion? 
yes you know men, women have you know all these expressions men very very straightforward men knows what to buy when they enter the shop if they you know they must be to to shop you know they they already eye that particular merchandise for seven months already and decide then that they go into the shop and they buy women will go on and on and and go to seven eight different shops to just to you know scout the most cheapest blouse the same blouse and and and, and drag your boyfriend you know <laughs> from time to time around around oh don't feel attacked i do the same thing you know, with my husband as well, I'll just like go around and around and around, you know. So that is how gender culture is, you know, different different ways of 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 of, of behavior. Okay, second of all will be old and young have different goals and dreams, you know. Um uh, the generation age gap will be a different culture, a culture of age gap because old people, uh, you know, old people now only tune into um uh facebook uh do, do you guys agree everybody your mom your dad my mom my dad is on facebook so when i have to post something on facebook or just like have a a a, a, a selfish moment i have to hide it from my parents and then do the restricted thing on your posting you know but uh you know uh all the people don't play tiktok tiktok app so different goals and dreams, different objectives and using social media platforms for age you get generation. And then for third one would be Muslim and Christians have different beliefs. So we go to a religion culture where we talk about in a religion context, the culture for different different religions are so different. But I would say in, in, in uh, for every religion, uh, every everybody practices the same thing which is we have to be good we have to do you know uh be good to our parents and things like that and we pray to god so yeah religion is like that and for those who doesn't have you know you have ideologies and things like that so we have to respect other people's culture by you know by breathing and things like that by by talking to them and never never judge yeah so how we think about culture frames our ideas and perception and with that how do we know about different cultures throughout time so we know it through movies we know it through um, uh, uh, television programs, we know it through Fox movies, we know it through the internet. How do we even know that K pop exists? How do you guys know? You know, that you like K pop, you like BTS, woohoo, you know, things like that. Uh, it is because of through this mass media platforms, we tend to know about other people's culture and with that we know our culture as well you know so uh coming to the next one okay coming to the next one where is my elements of culture okay uh last week i talked about cultural patterns yeah so uh, this will be elements of culture what is inside of a culture is value and beliefs so i mentioned just uh previously in last week values would be uh behaviors that uh, a, a, a culture practice what is good what is bad what is beautiful what is not you know things like that and then beliefs would be uh an idea to be through so sometimes beliefs can be religion beliefs can be an ideology as well so uh and 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 there is a particular when you see uh all this if, if you watch netflix and then if you watch hollywood movies right uh you are prone to actually uh you know uh come to the term of an american dream what is an american dream people coming back to last week's class what is the american dream what is an american dream why do people go to america and say oh, i'm living the american dream what is it any thoughts freedom right freedom, freedom of expression, freedom to do anything, to be successful, better opportunities. It's an illusion because it's dreamy, individuality, 
equal opportunity correct to be fair because when we talk about america per se it's a country whereby everybody you know everybody uh lean on to because first of all it's one of the world power countries number one and 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 the the ideology that um, uh, america gives to all in all parts of the world that it's it's it should be free. So, for example, if you come from the LGBT community, and 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 in your home country, it restricts you from being in the LGBT community to go to America and to live your your fuller self is the American dream. You know that that is what the freedom to be you. You know, so uh, that that would be an American dream. So for everybody who 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 is in any part of the world who have restrictions in their home country, that's why, or, or they have difficulties, that's why they move to them to America in thoughts and in hopes that better opportunities, better freedom, in that particular part of the world. Okay, so we go to uh, the second one, which is second element of culture, which is, you know, a little bit uh, discussion that when we talk about values portray, uh, sometimes, okay, sometimes when we talk about culture and values, right, there is an ideal culture whereby the standard society would like to embrace and live up to. So sometimes uh, it's uh, an ideal culture, I would say, say learning communication uh, myself um, every culture has its has its flaws and and and, and pros as well uh, sometimes you know uh, as a Muslim right it's 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 a Malay it's a uh, it's a Malay culture I'm a Malay woman so it's an ideal culture of being a Malay being a Malay it means that you are um, you are a Muslim it's very, very ideal that you have to pray five times a day. You have to wear the hijab, you know, if, 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 if you are Muslim and things like that. So it's very, very ideal, but not everybody, you know, not even myself, you know, follows that because we have flaws and things like that. Yeah. So an ideal culture is, is the standard where you a, a culture would like to live up to but in reality we are a real culture this is another concept whereby the way society actually is is based on what occurs and exists in an ideal culture there will no there will no be traffic accidents murders poverty or racial tension so in a real world it's a real culture Okay, so people sanction certain behaviors by giving support, approval, or permission, or by instilling formal actions or disapproval or and non-support. Okay, just to let you guys know, there is a particular video in Malaysia that goes on whereby a particular, uh, I don't know why, whether you guys know this, a 15, I don't know, it's a 15-year-old girl uh, on Instagram uh, she happens to be one of the uh, uh, Malaysian singer's daughter. She and her boyfriend uh, went on Instagram Live and 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 started to uh, have mouth to mouth uh, action of kissing. You know, I don't know whether you guys know that uh, it's on Twitter in Malaysia. So uh, you know, so when 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 people see that right now you know so um because of technology and this because of exposure um it's it's very very normal to say oh it's okay she's young and then she doesn't know what she's doing and and just forgive her and things like that and 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 back then if my mom if i will be doing that in, in some kind of way you know Oh, the, I don't know what is going to happen to me, you know? So through time, uh, through technology, culture changes, people change, the way people see, you know, things as well, it changes. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, 
first that. Okay, second of all is uh, elements of culture will be norms, how to behave in accordance with what a society has defined a good, right, and important, and most members of the society adhere to them. So norms would be how would you behave in, you know, you don't, you know, for example, uh, it's, uh, you have to, you know, say your prayers. Uh, before you eat, you know, it's a norm or um, you have to, you know, shake people's hand be uh, upon meeting them. So that's a norm as well. So we have four, uh, norms can be uh, divided into two, which is formal norms and informal norms, whereby formal norms will be written rules. Okay, so for example, uh, if you steal something, something bad will happen to you that's formal you know so um uh that's good and bad so there's rules and regulation right there so informal norms will be casual behaviors that are generally and widely conformed to is longer so for example if you don't shake uh, an elderly person's hand it doesn't harm you you won't go to jail that but you know uh people will say it shows how you are being brought up and things like that, especially in a Malay culture. Okay, so questions for now. Any questions before we move on? Questions? 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 Are we good, people? Okay, cool. Okay, continuing on to uh, norms as well, okay? Uh, norms can be decide, can be classified to more mores and folk ways, whereby mores would be moral views and principle of a group, okay? So folk ways are moral underpinnings. Uh, folk ways are direct appropriate behavior in day-to-day -day practices and expression of a culture. So for example, mores would be, uh, uh, it can be uh, classified under formal norms and folk ways would be informal norms, yeah? And the third element of culture would be symbols and language, symbols such as gesture, signs, objects, signals, and words help people understand the world. Different culture have different language, different culture have different dialects as well. So it's a system that where we communicate to which uh, culture is trans uh, transmitted. So uh, if you uh, just, you know, I, I want you guys to think and, and search this. Okay, look at me and uh, this particular symbol from a certain culture means uh, a majority culture, it's, it means okay, but there is a particular culture where this symbol means I kill you, I'm going to kill you. Which culture is that? So go and search and for those who can give uh, their answers to me will be an extra five marks for you this week. China, are you sure? This one? I'm gonna kill you. So search it first and let me know by tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow morning by 8 a.m. Text me personally, yeah? Okay, that'll be fun. Okay, Italian, are you sure? So make sure that you know the uh, the 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 the, uh, the search this particular word, which culture which culture means this symbol means I kill you. Okay, hungry? Are you sure? Make sure to just do that by eight a.m. tomorrow through WhatsApp. Text me the answer. Okay, with that we go to characteristics of culture. Okay, give me a second. 
Okay, the first one is culture is learned. When we talk about characteristics of culture, culture is a learned behavior. It's transmitted from one behavior of society to another, and it's ever, ever changing. Okay, it's ever, ever changing. Second of all, culture is interrelated because culture is learned from family and educational institutions, so it's related. So whatever that your, your mom teaches you at home, uh, you will reinforce that in school and whatever you pick up in school, uh, you will enhance that and, 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 and take that to practice. Okay, so it's very interrelated uh, from family, friends, education, institution, teachers and so forth. Okay, a culture is adapt adaptive whereby culture is a learned behavior. So for example, uh, if uh, 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 an expat or, 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 or an immigrant or somebody from uh, another country comes to Malaysia and, 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 and stay for work or for, for studying, for educational purposes, you know, it's very, very adaptive whereby uh, for a certain number of months, you can really know what the culture is already by looking at people, by observing how they do uh, their daily, you know, how do they do their day-to-day -day activities and so forth. Yeah, and number four, it's the same thing. Number four is culture is shared. A bunch of individuals shares every culture, something uh, inhabiting an equivalent a part of the globe. Remember, in Taylor's University as well, you share a particular culture. Uh, so uh, maybe you can, I, I give a question at the end of the class uh, for you to answer later on about Taylor's University. Okay, and then we have culture is a symbol by observing the pattern of culture, we can easily understand people. Seven culture is dynamic, it's not static, everything is changing. And number eight culture changes uh, with time. Some beliefs, tradition, language, and mannerism also change. Migration and economic process result in a mix of culture as well. You know, it's not stagnant. From time to time, it will always, always evolve. Number nine would be culture takes years to create. It's true that we have a tendency to influence all the culture, but it takes years to develop. For example, the K-pop culture, it doesn't take, you know, <coughs> it's not just that in the 2000s or things like that. It takes years for people actually to follow, uh, uh, you know, the Korean culture and K-pop culture as well. Yes, it's right, it's from Brazil. Sorry, I thought, good, good, good call. Yes, Brazil. Okay, so number 10 will be culture cannot be isolated. Okay, studies have brought out the very fact that no culture will stay in isolation. So if when we talk about culture itself, we need to have people. You need to have people who practice the same thing as you do. So if you're in isolation and you're only one person practice that particular behavior, that's not culture. Okay, and uh, another one would be religion is important as well as a part of culture. Some some culture has um, majority of culture have religion. Uh, if not, they have ideologies and culture is transmitted across a generation from your mother to your great, uh, for, from your grandmother to your great, great grandmother, they pass along the same message in hopes that every generation will practice only good, good things and be a good, you know, person and things like that. So that's why cultures are being transmitted. You know, uh, there is a particular saying, you know, there's so many old sayings, don't do this, don't sing in the kitchen, then you will get an old husband, you know, it happened to me, I have an old husband as well, seven years older than I am. <laughs> so, uh, but it doesn't, you know, it, uh, 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 if you believe that, uh, part of it is good. But, you know, sometimes uh, th there is a particular saying as well. Uh, if you are in confinement, if you are, if you, uh, you know, if, if, if you just, uh, you know, experience, you know, uh, giving birth to your child, uh, don't drink cold water, you know, cold water, it's no good for you. Why? You know, that there are 
so many old sayings, but according to doctor, you can drink cold water. So, you know, uh, all these old sayings come across generations. So superstitions, yeah, superstitions as well. So it depends from one culture to another. Okay, so give me a second. Uh, any questions so far before we move on, people? Questions, questions before we move on. Are we good? Okay, good. Okay, so let's move on to deep structures of culture, which is roots of reality. So let's take a look at this particular picture right here. Okay, roots. In this incredible capture uh, by photographer Brian Yen, we see an incredible system of roots scaling a wall as a child run past a group of elderly people. Roots of reality. Who are we? You know, who are we? Who, who am I? You know, what made you you? So let's check out. Uh, give me a second. Let's. Give me a second, yeah? people coming back to deep structures of culture roots of reality okay so uh okay if you look at the picture right um who are we? We, we what 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 made us you know what we are today so let's check out together on the next slide okay so what motivates people and you so we have love we have worship to the earth taking material things, value silence, sometimes being alone brings, you know, despondency, embrace old age, uh, you know, believe things hinder a, a peaceful life, value talk, you know, some people value different things than you do. So let's, 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 uh, you know, uh, look into what is deep structure. So deep structure is the source uh, of our influence behind how a culture views the world. Okay, deep structures unifies a culture, makes each culture unique and explains the how and why behind a culture's collective action. So what is deep structure? We have three social institution that reinforce every elements of culture. Okay, every elements of culture. Number one would be family. Okay, number one would be family. Number two is through community. Number three is through religion or worldview. So for example, right, uh, we have here, uh, family. So with family, you know, um, your parents started, you know, the basic foundation for every child, for, for you even, right? So your parents will teach you good things, uh, the values that are being practiced in, in, uh, uh, in, in your particular culture and pass it down to you. So that's how uh, you see things through your parents' eyes as well, but just an enhanced version now because you're already grown up you have diff you know you have different mindset and things like that but the foundation your parents your grandparents lay it down for you is that correct people your family is important to you your parents lay the great foundation of who you are today is that right any thoughts 
Yes, yes, everybody, you know? So your parents is your key, you know, goal, okay? Your, 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 your idol should be your, 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 your go-to person. Not really, but okay. Okay, sure. So some people, they are friends uh, who, 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 you know, that, that they, you know, that, that they prefer to, to go on to certain, certain issues as well. But mainly family and friends, it can fall under the same, uh, same, same context. Okay, for certain people, different people, different way of, you know, sharing things with family or friends. Okay, so uh, second of all, with with uh, actually uh, where uh, culture is being transmitted through state, through community, through government and history as well, what uh, happened in the history, you know, affects what your culture is today. Whether you come from a dominant group in in your country or you come from a minority group, what does your community? Say? see your culture as of today, are they superior, are they inferior, is what made you, are, made you today as well. So the third one will be religion. Because of your religion, it reinforces what your culture practices, majority of religion as well. So uh, if sometimes uh, there is a particular culture who doesn't rely on religion, they have on worldview perceptions and ideologies as well. So these are the three social institutions that, uh, that, that, that reinforce the elements of culture, family, state, and number three will be religion or worldview. Okay. Questions, people, before we move on. Questions. Are we good? Okay, good. Okay, continuing on. Okay, so the institution of family, state, and religion uh, carries culture's most important beliefs because how does it tell you? Because it tells you how you fit into the grand scheme of things. You know, uh, sometimes, you know, there is, uh, you know, why, why you deserve this, why you don't you deserve that. Your, 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 these three, you know, uh, structures will actually tell you that. Whether you should believe in fate or the power of free choice, why there is suffering, what to expect from life, where your loyalties should reside, and even how to prepare for death. You know, so these three institutions will prepare you for this kind of things. So why life is treating me that way? Why do I get to fail? Or why am I, you know, why always bad things happen to good people? You know, and that's what I always say. Uh, you know, to my mom, why all the bad things happen to good people like me, you know? So uh, your mom was saying, no, God is testing you and things like that. God wouldn't give you things that you can't handle, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, so uh, that's how important these three institutions are. Okay, and deep structure is enduring whereby it helps to preserve culture. That's why families are important. People who know culture is very, very important. Yeah, so to practice culture is very important because sometimes throughout time, if you don't practice your own culture, it will fade, but we will come to uh, another chapter to discuss that. Yeah, so uh, there's a, a couple of examples right here. Okay, I am going to uh, go to the next one. Please read this on your own. Okay, so deep structure is deeply felt as well. Uh, love of family, God and country, most important values to most people. Do you feel anger when you see rioters burning the American flag? What do you think Muslim feel when they see uh, the Quran burn? So, you know, when we talk about all these three institutions, if you find in YouTube or if you find something viral that go, that is going on in the internet and it relates to you and your culture, you will feel it most, right? So that is how it works from, from one person to another. 
Okay, and we go to the next one is deep structure supplies identity, whereby we learn our identities through socialization. And we have multiple identities that reinforce each other. For example, we have kinship, we have occupational, we have cultural, we have institutional, we have territorial, educational, partisan, and ideology. So for example, we have so many identities we are wearing on an everyday basis. Uh, we wear so many hats. Do you guys, do you guys agree with that? You know, you have a different identity with your mom, but with your friends, you have another different personality. With your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, you have another way of talking to your boyfriend and girlfriend on the phone. You know, with your assignment partner, it's a different thing. With your best friend, it's a different thing. You know, so deep structure uh, supplies identity, identity as well. And, and, and you have to socialize to practice that. Yeah, so with that, when you have uh, socialized and you have this kind of culture and you communicate with people, the sense of belonging to one another is very, very uh, great, whereby you belong to somewhere, someone, you know, and it feels good. Yeah, uh, you have gangs, you know, good or bad. Yeah, so um, family. Okay, talking about a little bit on a, li uh, a little bit more on big structure. Family is a universal experience. Uh, I don't know whether this is true, but I found it on the uh, internet from a credible source. If you know the family, you don't need to know the individual. Is that true? Is that a, a, a Chinese saying? Chinese standard people? If you know the family, you don't need to know the individual. Is that true? No? No, no, yeah. Uh, it's a Chinese saying, uh, uh, if you know the family, you don't need to know the individual. It means that if you know the family is good, then prob the probability of that person that you're meeting as well would be good as well. I don't know. So, you know, no, yeah. Uh, that, maybe that comes from my generation because my parents say if that family comes from a good family, that person must be, you know, good. You know, so, you know, and all people think you will have that. Oh, you have heard it with Indians as well? Oh, okay. So, um, uh, that's that kind of saying that found to the internet. Uh, it's a universal experience. The apple does not fall far from the tree because, you know, you follow your family footsteps. For example, I come from a communication background uh, whereby my dad used, just to share with you guys, my dad used to be one of the uh, pioneers of uh, DJs in Malaysia for a radio station back in the 80s. He started off with, uh, he was one of the famous DJs in Malaysia. Uh, yeah, an 80s DJ. Yeah. Uh, so then, because back then in Malaysia, in the 80s, people still listen to radio stations and they were having like good radio DJs. So uh, he was so famous back then. Then my mom works as a radio DJ as well. My brother is uh, works in film production and I teach communication. I don't know. So, you know, I would say the apple does not fall far from the tree within that line as well. Okay, white power, white power, white power, isn't it? White power, more or less, Wei Kang, white power. Uh, we will talk about white power in a different topic as well. So family is the oldest and most fundamental of all human institution and government rise and Fall, but families survive. So yeah. So hoping that you guys can actually relate to one of this particular quotes that I got from a credible source in the internet. But different people lean on to different things. Yeah. So the importance of family it prepares you to various roles that perform in the society, teaches you the foundation and self concept as well. So we have nuclear families and extended uh, just to uh, recap your, 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 your 
um, a brilliant minds on this. We have two types of families. Nuclear would be parent and children, immediate families, and the extended would be grandparents and relatives. Okay, and functions of the family as well, transmit identity. This is important, transmit cultural values, transmit communication proficiencies as well. Yeah, so uh, it's important that sitter sitter families are not, you know, like my husband, right? I just want to share with you, I come from a family which is so expressive that we share almost everything together that it can be so annoying at times uh, that uh, sometimes it's, it's going to be like too much information that I'm hearing from my brother or things like that. But my husband comes from a family whereby uh, they are close, but they don't share everything together. Uh, whereby you do your own stuff, I do my stuff, you know. So, but during celebration, we'll, we'll just, you know, for parties and things that we'll join, but we won't share as much, you know. We will share on an occasional basis. So, upon seeing this, my husband, I'm very, I'm, you know, with, uh, I'm very, very uh, close knit with my family. So, everything I share together. So, when I tell my husband that I share, uh, with my my siblings, a couple of things, you know, uh, he will be like, oh, oh, you share that with your siblings. Listen, I don't do that with my brothers and sisters. Not not me. So you know, different people have different ways in communicating to their families as well. So I was uh, uh, just to share with you a little bit more. I was so uh, uh, I'm being being taught that every time you meet an elderly person, you have to shake. It's it's you have to shake their hand and bow down. Uh, and, and he doesn't do that. My husband doesn't do that. And when my family sees this, they were like, "Wow." This is such bad upbringing, you know. So my 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 husband is a Malay guy as well. So um, uh, you know, so different people have different ways of practicing, and uh, with that, uh, I create a culture that, you know, whenever he meets me, my my parents, he has to do it by force at every time. Then throughout time, throughout years, marrying him, it's an automatic thing that he does, you know, as a reflex. So, yeah, uh, would you say that uh, culture is something being forced as well, but throughout time, if you practice it, it's on an automation mode. Would you say that, people? Yeah, no? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, agree. So uh, throughout time, uh, you know, if you guys be parents as well, you 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 uh, encounter that kind of moment. So function of family again, transmit communication proficiency, and uh, okay. So we have culture is a major determinant of the path we take as well. So uh, in the textbook, it says that a child in India who lives with many people in one house learns about extended family. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, you know, what 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 culture does your parents practice with you? You know, uh, will 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 determine how would you see things in a different way as well. So a Mexican child who is raised in a home with many elderly people learns about the treatment of the elderly. A child in Egypt who observes his parents praying five times a day is learning about their God, Allah as well. So different people, different interpretation, different behaviors and different ways of seeing things. Yeah. And then uh, how are they living? You know, when we talk about gender roles itself, uh, what do you think about gender roles? What do you think of a woman working uh, in a man's job? What do you feel when you take a grab driver if you come to Taylor's campus and when you go outside in Kia, things like that, you take a grab driver and and it lands you with a woman grab driver, would you say, what do you feel? You feel nothing? I, I would say it's uh, when I got a woman grab driver, I'll be like, wow, a woman grab driver, you know? 
So uh, it comes with different, different, you know, uh, uh, you feel safer, uh, you feel safer. So different, different people have different ways of interpreting things as well. Okay, so in India, males are superior gender. Male children believed to be entrusted to parents by the gods. Uh, when you, you have uh, male children, male, male children in India, you have a boy uh, in hopes that it will, you know, in India, especially where I have a couple of friends in India, make, uh, the family hopes that with a boy, it will, if they come from a, a, a poor family, hoping that it will be, be the particular child will bring out and then be successful and bring out them from the poverty itself. Yeah, so uh, it goes with my friend as well who lives in India, who comes from, from the slums and he works really, really hard to go into the best universities and then and, and he managed to, you know, uh, uprise his family status into uh, uh, a working class status from slums as well. So fantastic thing to see that. And we have the Arab culture a little bit, okay. Uh, you know, males, the preferred gender, okay. So um, male can do anything in every culture. It's always about the males. Do you feel that people or women? It's about men, men can lead. But I think that's why a, a, a gender uh, a notion as well, whereby, you know, gender equality comes in, whereby women also can do the same things as men. Women also can, can provide, you know? Yeah, misogynist as well. I think gender roles shouldn't exist but it does, it allows for there to be expectation on how should be a disregarding their capabilities. Correct, Shiva Kamni. Yeah, correct, Shiva. So sometimes, uh, uh, for example, uh, if I, I turn my camera, you can see a lot of unfolded clothes in front of me. Uh, you know, so maybe it's a woman thing to fold clothes. I don't know. My husband ha helps quite a lot, but these days he doesn't hold the clothes at, at, at all. So is that, you know, general coming into the situation? I don't know. So you tell me. Okay, if you come to my house, you can see that. Okay, so uh, roles are changing in the United States uh, as well. Well, when we talk about gender roles, most girls were, were raised to be wives and stay at home mothers. Uh, back then, uh, in the 80s, you know, um, especially in Malaysia, uh, to hear or to see a woman ha having a CEO position is very, very hard. But now, look at where women are, whereby there are so many women in power, there are business women, there are leaders in every uh, industry, in every part of the country as well. Okay, and they can do the same thing like men do. Okay, and a little bit on individualism versus collectivism. Okay, so when we talk about culture as well, we have two types, individualistic and collectivism. Individualistic, it values individual over the group and collectivism more onto what people think or what the people practice, we have to follow them. Okay, questions so far, people, for week three of lecture, culture and communication one. Questions. I welcome questions and thoughts. How do you feel about your own culture, people? Questions, questions. Do you guys, do you guys have any questions? For week three, culture and communication one. Good, good. Any other people, any questions? Are these coming up for the exam? We don't have exams, Emily. We have quiz one and quiz two. Just understand it. Understand the topic, you good. 
Okay, no questions. Okay, with that, I am going to throw a question at you. Okay, what is a tailor's culture? Can you type in the chat box according to your interpretation? What does your, uh, you know, what is a tailor's culture? What, what is the culture that, what is the culture that you can find among tailor's students? Being like number two, young smoking zone, okay. Someone multicultural, okay, multicultural, mama, open minded, wisdom, integrity, excellence, partying, clubs, come on, diverse. Yeah, you have a lot of people, a lot of culture, a lot of people from different nationalities and tailors as well. Enjoying life, drugs, really? Drugs, stay away from drugs, people. Super free, yeah. So, um, freedom, oh, okay. So, uh, when we talk about Taylor's college, Taylor's life, you know, there's so many interpretation towards uh, the Taylor's life, especially when you are a Taylor student. So. Uh, I would say it's it's a diverse interpretation. I wouldn't say I won't put one particular term to uh, to, to 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 signify what Taylor's is. It's so many, yeah. So good, 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 good. Uh, sharing everybody. Thank you very much. Okay, with that, it's two fifty nine. Oh, it's that two fifty nine. Okay, any questions before we wrap things up? The video gone viral. There's a video gone viral. What what video? Uh any question uh, any questions before we wrap things up for week three lecture? Are we good? If you have questions, please let me know. Okay, you can text me. If I text you after six, it means that I can have the, I have a little bit of time to reply to you. So in case I reply you at that point of time, just re just accept it, okay? Yeah, the lecture would be from, uh, even though it say two to four, actually lecture hours is two to three only. Taylor student cringe TikTok. Oh, yo. Uh, uh, are we having final exam or are we just having final piece? For Yi Hang, uh, for Yi Hang, uh, we are ha we don't have final exams. We this is a hundred percent uh coursework full stretch, whereby we have quiz one, we have quiz two. So please look at my recording for week one and week two on lecture sessions or tutorial group. Watch it all to clarify everything. If you have, after you watch it, you have questions, you let me know. Okay? Yi Heng? Right, okay, good. Okay, with that, uh, uh, what is quiz from? Multiple questions? No. The, Quiz will be in short answer questions, and uh, most probably, um, 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 uh, case study. Yep, Z. Okay. Any questions before we go to camps? No problem. Everybody, all right? Okay. So let me share with you my screen. So it's a very, very direct. The cultural report is just an intro, main body and conclusion. Yup, that's right. The cultural report, the final piece you mean, Amina? Yes. Okay, can we go to Kent's, Taylor's? I'm signing in. Make sure that 105 log in. It's, I'm going to click enter, okay? And I'm going to press start. Please key in the code right now, people. 
DPC GX5. Okay, I'm going to wait together with you until it hits 104, I think. Okay, some more keep on coming in. Okay, just wait a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, how do you guys feel about the online class? I don't know. Uh, I know I got. I have to direct you to uh to the question back to you. How do you feel, Ryan? Okay. No touch, Melody. How do you guys feel as of today? Are you guys enjoying my classes? Or would you prefer it to be face-to-face? Face-to-face would be better, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can see me, yeah. Both, yeah, both are fine, yeah. Um, Oh, okay. Thank God I'm organized. So <laughs> the first person telling me. Okay, so uh, I have 96. Come on, people. A couple more. Come in, come in, and signing. Sign up to camps. Yup, that's right. So most probably, I'll confirm with everybody from tutorial group one and two. Are we coming back to face to face uh, next week? Uh, because I don't like there's there's I hope I, I I would like to have if I need tutorial group one, in tutorial group two face to face for those who opt for face to face session I need them a one week stretch I don't want to miss everybody out, so uh, I'll confirm with you guys by the end of the week. Uh, uh, are we coming back to campus next week, uh, or not? We do it on week five. Okay. So please do, so the, this week tutorial is online only. Yes, correct. Uh, okay, I will wait for you, Kairani. Uh, will we have online streaming if there is a face-to-face -face classes? Yes, Batu. For every session, there'll be uh, Zoom links for you to log into. So it's just the difference that you see me, whether I'm at home or I'm at campus and you can see uh, your friends in campus as well. So either or it will be live stream. So this week's tutorial session will be online, Adam. That's right. Uh, maybe next week will be online as well. And I want to make week five that I see you guys for those who are up to face to face at one stretch. Okay. In case, okay, okay, for uh, okay. Uh, Amina, do we have to include an abstract in the cultural report? You don't have to do uh, in the cultural report. Don't have to, Amina. Can I put the slides in the video log or just have to show your faces? You can use slides as well, Sabrina. Um, but you have to show your face. But if you don't have slides and you want just to talk on your own, that would be great as well. Up to you. Okay? according to your creativity. Come on, other people, do you guys have the code already? Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, so at any time, uh, as usual, I just want to, to, to reinforce this information and emphasize this information to everybody whereby um, if you have questions, right, uh, please let me know text me anytime, uh, text me anytime. WhatsApp would be very, very good uh, because when you do it through email, I have to take some time to reply it. So just text me at any time and uh, I'll, I'll most probably, if you text me in the morning, I'll text you as soon as possible. But uh, if not, I'll text you in the evening. So don't find that weird as well. Yeah, so just, just ask me questions, that'd be great. I'll be glad to answer them for you. 
Okay, are we good? Only 100 people? I have 105 just now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So for tutorial group one, uh, I meet you tomorrow from 10 to 12 p.m. for the tutorial for week three. Um, uh, for tutorial group two, I'm gonna meet you uh, at uh, uh, 10 to 12 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, I will do the Google Sheet now as soon as possible and share the link uh on times message and whatsapp group as well okay so in case you have any questions you let me know and with that it's a wrap for week three online lecture thank you very much everybody uh i'll be seeing you guys tomorrow thank you yes shireen please let me know your question thank you very much stay safe and be good Shireen, you don't have WhatsApp, then it's okay. You just, I do the times message. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And stay safe, people. See you guys tomorrow for tutorial group one. Shireen, it's okay. I will be texting you through times message. Do you have times message? Uh, you are on times, right? Kairani, there's something wrong with your app. Uh, okay, then note that I will mark it at my, my, my end, don't worry. Shireen, you have times or not? Hey, you have WhatsApp. What tutorial group that you are in? Shireen, one or two? One on Wednesday, two on Thursday. Two, okay, I'll send you the link right now. Okay, cool. 105, okay. Okay, Yushin, my number is 3708. I, uh, I just do that to Melanie, sorry. Uh, 0173701443. Okay, uh, Shireen, please text me. And then I add you into the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay, thank you very much, people. Stay safe. See you guys tomorrow and Thursday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, people. It's Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone.